Yeah, hey, bud. I'm just wondering, do you think any doctors will be available today? Uh, we got one doctor on duty. An actual like, doctor, doctor, that did like decisions and stuff, but we got uh, three other uh, EMS personnel. Alright, medical I staff of some kind? For me to not pillbox lobby. Mm hmm. Anyone. I just need to get cleared because I'm just. I just got into the city. I just don't want to be bringing in any virus. Someone on the bus told me that. Uh, uh, yeah, follow me. I'll take you somebody. Alright, alright. I'm the chief, by the way. So. Oh, okay. Hello, chief. Gentlemen, you're looking for. Absolutely, yeah. Let's get the fuck out of the way, yeah, for sure. Hey, thank you. Alright, let's take a peek at this. Probably. Oh, we had a fleek of bot robbery, major shootout. Yes, Charlie, you know what yeah, <laughs> Jeez. Two and four steps here and see if I can clamp off those vessels. Can I get three? Can I get uh, two? I don't, I don't. I don't know where. I don't know where uh, she is. You don't know where she is. Oh, okay. This okay. gentleman just needs a doctor to look at him. Um. I'm trying to see if I see if there's a bit of armor in here. I'm just trying to see if the bullet is still in here too. She's busy. Getting in the back. Okay. You said you were the chief, right? The chief, but I can't work right now. No, no, no. I, I just wanted to know if you were the chief of medical staff or the chief of the police. Shit. I ain't no popo. Oh, okay. Chief of the medical staff? The chief of the medical staff, and then the first lady that we talked to, uh, she's my boss. That's the medical director. Right, okay, okay. Let's see if I can get that out. Um, yeah, let's just go out here, and then, uh, we'll have you just kind of... Are all these doors open for some stupid reason? Oh, yes. Hey, Christina. Returned. You're probably been too. You get ready to take another patient back. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. Do you want to take care of this gentleman here? I'm taking care of somebody already. Yeah. Are you taking care of somebody already? Yeah, that happened to me earlier. My entire voice box demolished itself. Yeah. Um, this gentleman here in the stumble bag just said he, he's new to the city. He just needs to get checked out, I guess, for making sure he doesn't have stuff that he's going to bring into the city. I don't know. I told him I'd send for you. I told him. Yeah. For the love of God. Hey, um. Alright, let me see. I've, I've got another call I gotta get to. Hey, I think I may be fine. Where's Zoe? He is doing surgery on another guy, and then the other guy's doing surgery on another guy, oh and then all three ORs are booked right now. They are? Okay. Uh, I need. I feel worse, but whatever. I can come back. Okay, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> this is the busiest we've been in maybe three weeks, Joe. And I'm hurt. Can't you? I feel bad. Hey, man. I need you down a pillbox. So, Mr. Not exactly. Look, man. Look. You know, could be better. Could be better. I like the it trucks. Looks like it's just crazy busy. I like the trucks. They look good. This is where everybody was <laughs> chasing down. Some more ones. Looks like. Do you want to go ahead and take care of this gentleman and the other gentleman sitting down there? <laughs> you want to run that call that we just got that somebody failed? I mean, I can. Um, do they have all the other patients from the uh, robbery or whatever taken care of? All right. Finally, her throat got cleared. I guess. Believe so, but I, I can't say for certain. I, I barely got there. Well, because I had to basically, because my eyes were, my eyes I mean, basically no were making me see everything uh, in like, like really badly. So I had to take a quick nap. So I, I had uh, to have like Charlie or somebody deal with the other so the guy that I was yeah, holding. Violate uh, your rights. The guy with the double thing. I, I don't feel carry permit. He... Is a privilege, not a right. 
Second, sir. Second, sir. We're, 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 I'm trying to fix you. Um, so you're, I guess he's uh, violent. Okay. All right. All right. So oh, no, actually, you go run the call. Go run the call. You're an, e, you're an EMT. Go run that call, and I'll take care of these uh, guys. Do it. I, they, they, they have everybody back there. I just wanted to make sure he was at least taken care of because I didn't. I basically was like, hey, I need you guys. Yeah, to do yeah, this. yeah. Charlie, Charlie's with the guy. No, okay, then it's fine. <laughs> what are they doing? Busy tonight. I think that might be the same call. To go run that call as an EMT, and I'll do the patchwork for this guy and see what's up with that other guy as the doctor. All right, finally, I'll looks like it. someone's gonna come. I'll uh, hey, you also might want to think, A E M T. Get out of those recruit clothes, and you're not a recruit no more. I'm a medic now. But this is what I have to still wear. Still have to wear the medic stuff. It's not my line. It's not my branch. Um. Those are, that's more of like the recruit line. You can wear the one that says EMT or paramedic. I thought he's going to sit on yeah, the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think AEMT. Oh, let's go. All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll change. Do you want to, I'm not saying you is have it? to. Who is it? Uh, the recruit, the recruit outfit side. Can I'm you go gonna, find just, her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying I did, I, I just did, I didn't know, okay? <laughs> hey, yeah, this is going to be funny. Who is a doctor I spoke to earlier? Really? All right, this is better. Oh, yes, it's about the thing with the one guy. Charlie and May, us. Charlie and me and um, Christina here. With the ADA. Right. Are one of you two available? Because there's an uh, issue with that. We need to clear uh, it up. Uh, what's up? What Charlie's in surgery right now. Um, right. Two, take him back to Charlie's room and I'll take care of these two yeah, gentlemen. I came down. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna page Charlie and tell her we're going to her office. I will help you just a second. I'm just gonna help this other gentleman I brought in from another scene. Come back with me to recovery, sir. I'll just take you once over. Sorry about that. This is the busiest we have been in maybe three weeks. You can hear and and when I berate this fucking cop, when I berate this fucking This is a nice sitting pose, isn't it? How about that? I'm gonna write these things down. Sit for. Um when she's about to cost my city money, yeah. Oh, the kids definitely I I can't wait to talk to my lawyer again. And thank you, because you're the one that talked. situation i think you're wrong and i think it's being petty but you do you it was not being petty bro like i left i left everything alone i came back i was doing my job until the court date i literally had a session with an emt today and didn't charge took my little 25 dollars an hour where should i go where you wearing my needed uh take a look bitch are you really walking around with a water bottle uh, are you fucking I mean, with me yo she's doing that good stuff right now Oh. Let's see if it works. I'll leave you in Zoe's hands. And I will be right back. Okay. What has happened? So it was took me back to PD and I didn't realize that my radio wasn't on, so Sir, what did you need from me exactly? Oh, Sorry. Oh, alright. Uh hey. Wilson. So the thing is, um I just got into town. I don't know if you can heal me. Yeah, I can Alright, alright. So I just got into town and I was just wondering if um is if there is some kind of a checkup that I need to go through. Because with all the virus stuff that's going on in town, I thought the best place to report would be at the medical center. Um, we don't have a traditional checkup that we make people go through. Are you experiencing any pain or illness? Oh yeah, I have this terrible spasm because of which I can't get uh, remove my bag. You know, my shoulders kind of stuck. I slept wrong on the bus, I think. I've just been trying to do that. But otherwise, I'm all right. No cough, no sneezing, nothing like that. I think you have to visit a clothing store to be able to remove the bag. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe it's just got stuck when I was sleeping on the bus. It's it's possible. Yeah. I'll do that, and if that doesn't work, come back here and I'll uh, try to see what I can do for you. All right. That sounds good. 